The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, formerly known as the Millennium Dam, is under construction in the Benishangul Gumuz region of Ethiopia on the Blue Nile River, which is located about 40 km east of Sudan. The project is owned by Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation, EEPCO. Construction of the Grand Renaissance Dam started in April 2011 after the Ethiopian Burr, 80 billion or $4.7 billion, engineering, procurement, and construction or EPC contract was awarded to Salini Costrutori. About 65 million people, or more than half, of the Ethiopian population are estimated to live in darkness without access to electricity, which is a basic need for the majority of the world's population. By contrast, about 70% of Kenyans and 100% of Egyptians have access to electricity, World Bank database. Because of the lack of access to electric power, millions of girls and women rely on firewood for cooking and light. Since women are responsible for cooking meal in Ethiopia, they spend hours trekking to collect firewood. They carry the firewood they collected on their backs, and they spend additional hours cooking meals on wood-burning stoves. Consequently, rural women in Ethiopia do not have the time and opportunity to participate in education as well as profitable and paid works. Furthermore, cooking with firewood in a non-ventilated environment exposes women and children to severe respiratory and eye complications. It is also estimated that two-thirds of school children in Ethiopia live in darkness without access to electricity. Since rural children spend their non-school time during the day helping their parents in the farm, this means that they have no opportunity to read and do their homework. Ethiopia's lack of access to electricity is not because it does not have the potential to produce electricity. In fact, Ethiopia is estimated to have the potential to generate up to 1.4 million megawatt clean electricity from hydro, wind, and geothermal, not to mention the abundant solar energy potential. If utilized, this would be enough to electrify not only Ethiopia, but also our neighbors. The paradox between such a huge potential and the ugly fact of living in darkness in the 21st century is because of our inability to utilize this potential. GERD, the call of our generation. The good news is that this generation is awakened and has realized that we can do better in utilizing our God-given natural resources for the betterment of the current and future generations. Our nation launched the Grand Renaissance Dam, GERD, about 10 years ago, with the objective to utilize one of our precious natural resources, the Nile River, Abe, for electricity generation. When completed and operate at full potential, GERD will have a total installed capacity for average annual energy production of about 15,759 GW, doubling the current total capacity and taking the lives of the 65 million people out of the grip of darkness and abject poverty. For Ethiopians, building GERD is a matter of basic needs and not a luxury choice. For millions of girls and women, it means saving several hours a day, being able to attend a basic school or paid job opportunities, and being able to cook safely without compromising their health. For millions of children, it means being able to read and do their homework. For the 65 million people who do not have access to electricity, it means being able to have dined with light. And for the Ethiopian economy, GERD means an engine of growth job creation, and poverty reduction. This is why all Ethiopians, regardless of ethnicity, 
religion, creed, or political view are united on the cause of GERD, they are participating in the building of the dam in every possible way, including through material gifts, skills, and their labor. The construction of GERD is approaching its finishing line, with more than 80% completed. The second phase of water filling has been successfully completed, and we will be able to start generating electricity from the dam this year. All of this has been achieved thanks to the generous contribution of Ethiopians residing all over the world.